Grammy was popping, was going on. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm excited. I don't feel as excited. But turning on the camera, I see energy. Huh? What's up now? What's going on? Good afternoon, good morning. So I'm currently at Transcore. I came out for Project Pink Blues Charity Walk for Cancer. I've been looking for ways to like show up and give back to my community. Do you understand? And as I, as I don't have money now, I feel like the least I can do is to like show up for things like this you know give my support the little way that i can i'll also be interviewing like the participants of the oh my god to find out why people are here what they intend to achieve by coming on this wall how is my hair i feel like it's, it's a whole lot nicer now should i put on glasses no i want to be personable so i don't think there'll be any need for putting on glasses I think I Johnson and Johnson. I'm the market assets coordinator for Johnson and Johnson. And uh, part of what we do with regards to cancer support, we always try to join teams who are setting up for awareness creation. Because as you can see today, especially for male cancers, one out of every nine men in Nigeria today will have post cancer. So the best way to create awareness for this so that we can get screened and checked early. What kind of impact do you think comes out from things like this for the community? Okay, um, first and foremost, I'll say two things. Um, for women in particular, if you notice, there's been a lot of discussions, a lot of talk about breast cancer, cervical cancer. So now what you have is an average woman who wants to go for a monogram to check if the breast has a cancer or anything. But for men, there's still a bit of a darkness or a distance between that point. So what we do is when we hear a lot of people talk about cancer, people want to ask questions, people want to know what's next. And the more you know, the more you are informed, the more you are willing to go for this test and the screening. You guys are looking really, really amazing. Um, but I would love to know, why are you guys here to support this course this lovely morning? It's all about using what you love to promote something that has been devastating to a lot of people, something that has claimed numerous lives. So getting people to know more about it is a way that people shouldn't just shy away from it, but face it. Being more aware gives you the opportunity to deal with it even before it comes up there. So, But in as much as we are pushing the awareness of cancer, I would also love to know, have you guys done any tests? For me, no. No, for me. Why, though? Because you are here promoting the awareness, but... I've not, not, not had time to go check myself out. That's it. Okay, so, time. so we are hoping now that you'll be able to squeeze out the time, yeah, you know, yeah. to get... And yeah, we will. Yes. We'll check it out. We'll check. Okay, okay. So please, I'll really recommend yes, that you guys go ahead and do it. And thank you for showing up in your beautiful bikes. Please. My name is Violet Utazi. I came out here because I'm a cancer survivor for five years and I want to give hope to you. So what was one of the things or some of the things that motivated you through that journey? What made you strong enough to conquer this? It is just God because you know, one thing with cancer, like I asked the doctor, I started when it was stage two and now I'm in stage four and I asked why, why? Because I never relent for a day. But you know, you told me sometimes we attack, it goes, other times we attack, it comes again. And the truth is that I've been so faithful to the treatment. But then, you know, there's no, no need to give up hope. Before I let you go, what do you have to say to people that are battling this disease right now? I think my word of encouragement for those who are battling it is that, and for even the family, is to show love. All the cancer patient need is love. Once you give them that attention, when you show them that love that you care, it gives us hope. But once you just feel, but there are people who feel as if, why do you waste the money? After all, the person will die. That's what kills people most times. But once you show love, you show care, then life continues. It elongates life. Just that, then prayer. Apart from that, nothing else. 
then it makes the drug work faster. And you have that joy that you have loving people around you. That's all we need this time. What would you say the government can do to assist and help cancer patients in Nigeria currently? I think the most important thing the government can do is to probably maybe subsidize the drugs because cancer is very expensive. And sometimes when you think about the money aspect of it, you'll be wondering, how am I going to survive? So sometimes it's even the fear. But like myself, there was a drug they asked me to take, six million. How do I get this money? Until I met uh, Frazier Pharmaceutical and they said, if I'm not earning up to seven million per annum, they can give it to me at one million. And I was able to raise one million. And now I was told that I need to repeat that same drug. And after raising one million, now where do I go to again? And I have children, I have, I have, well, there are many other things that we will do with money. But then, I know God knows how he takes care of his people. My name is Lawrence Ado. I'm a medical representative of FMK Diagnostics. Okay. At what age would you say a person should go out to the hospital or to a healthcare center to get tested for any kind of cancer? At 40. I think at 40, everyone should be very conscious of cancer. But there are incidents when we have seen patients suffer from this cancer, uh, breast cancer for women below 40. I want to come to a hospital as a woman now and I want to get tested for cancer. What are the kind of tests that I should be going for? Okay, for women, we we'll do a uh, pap smear, also more advanced, known as a lipid cytology test. Now, that lipid cytology test indicates the presence of cancer. And for men at 40, we do a PSA, that's a, a post antigen, substrate antigen, I will do. We also do mammograph. Mammograph is for women just to check. Uh, it's like it's still part of an x ray, but more advanced. It also indicates presence of cancer in the breast or lumps in the breast. And all of this we can find and get at Femcare. Yes, exactly. At Femcare. Choke cancer. Choke cancer. Nice to see that even youngins are here at the event today, the Walk Against Cancer. First things first, please tell me your name. My name is Victor. What's yours? Can I show? I would love to know because I've not, I'm surprised that you guys are really young and you guys are already part, taking part of building awareness about cancer in the community. What inspired you to be here today? My mother. She's a cancer survivor. Oh, wow. I learned that it wasn't, it wasn't contagious and you should really make them feel free like they don't feel like they are so bad because they are sick or anything feel free around them help them support them they don't face it alone we are all going to close the cancer care gap yeah yeah <laughs> so how about you what inspired you to be here because they teach us a lot about cancer in our school so i want to come and teach other people that they will know that it's like small children too know more about cancer than big children. Hi, my name is Mandu Ekanem, also known as Skater Girl. You're looking really good, by Thank the way. You so, <laughs> so I'd love to know what inspired you to come out here and support um, the event today. Hi, right, the event is all about cancer. It's World Cancer Day 2023. Thank you. It's World Cancer Day 2023, and I mean we're all out to support the cancer survivors, people that have cancer. We're all out to support them. Um, they are also raising uh, funds and they are also creating awareness to teach us how to touch ourselves, how to find out, oh, you have cancer. I mean, early detection saves lives. And a lot of people don't know that. We all believe that, oh, um, once we always wait till it's very late. But I mean, as I said earlier, early detection saves lives. So we need to know all about this, how to check ourselves, when to go to the hospital, and at least every year, do a proper checkup, body checkup. This thing is real and just doesn't happen to only the women, it also happens to the men. We have different types of cancers. That's why we are here. So they will teach us. So many people just came out for fun, but it's not about fun only. Awareness, early detection saves lives, fundraising for the cancer patients to celebrate with the survivors that already had and are alive today. That's why we're out today.